are we kicking people out of a shelter in the short term when we aren't even planning those long-term solutions yet? Around 100 people gathered in a Penticton Park on Friday afternoon, protesting City Council's decision to deny BC Housing extension of the temporary winter shelter at Victory Church. I live here in Penticton and I know that if I become homeless there's nowhere for me to go. There's nowhere safe for me to go. People in our country in this day and age are treated like this is absolutely obnoxious. And that is why we're here. We're fighting for shelter because that's the first step to housing and it helps people get themselves better. Attendees heard statements and speeches from affected individuals who use shelters and wanted to voice their concerns. This is a life-threatening danger for people to have no walls, to have nowhere safe to sleep at night. Putting us all back on the streets is not the answer. Another place like Fairhaven and Burdock is not the answer. We need a place where we can feel like every day, everybody else, and that is not alive and living in our home where we cook and get a job. While city councillors and the mayor were invited to attend and had reserved seating set out for them, none of them showed to hear community's concerns, to which the organizer said that speaks volumes on their thinking. I want City Hall to do the right thing and I, I see that there's a lot of people in this community who are here who want that too. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that let's let's listen to some stories and maybe if they're videoed, the city councillors will get to see them from their comfy homes um, and see what the, the, the risk they're taking by not revoking this decision is. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.